What's going on YouTube? So today is an off day from the gym and um, excuse my voice, I'm a little sick. So it's an off day today from the gym. I could go to the gym and hit some body part that I feel is weak right now. But instead, um, I was thinking of doing some cardio. Right? So it's gonna be just a quick couple of pickup games, nothing too serious. Just give me the time of the day, I will be right on my way I'm running with triggers and spray, might as well be going to stay You surfing, you riding away, but you know I set the pace They got me, I'm back to my ways, cause they don't have what it takes Got armor, we killing the game, we ain't got no time to waste And sir, I, he showed me the way, I switch it up and turn the page I made it, I don't need a deal This is that shit that you feel I'm zoning, I don't need a smoke And I ain't popping no pills Created the flow that you crave You want a bite, here's a taste I'm telling your girl to behave This ain't the time or the place Not lucky, I'm blessed, please Help me live up to the praise I just got back from Barbados What's going on YouTube? So, uh, fuck. Good morning YouTube. Uh, just woke up really early this morning to get a morning workout with my... Fuck. Right. Anyways, um, so today we're hitting a hypertrophy push day. We are gonna hit chest, shoulders, and triceps. Um, we're gonna focus more on the volume instead of gaining strength instead of heavy weight we're gonna lower the weight a little bit make sure to hit more reps and focus on that chest volume shoulder volume and maybe some triceps at the end um, so I'm gonna take you through this workout and yeah I'm gonna shoot that right now alright so we're gonna start off with some warm-ups it's very important to warm up for benching especially Shoulders and rotator cuff area. We're gonna start off with some bad work. Now we're gonna do some around the worlds to um, warm up the rotator cuffs. Next warm up, we're gonna warm up the rear delts so we can sit nice and comfortable in the bench press. Keep your elbows locked inside your hips. First set is gonna be a warm up set. Just gonna move on. 
Hey guys, welcome back to another commentary. As I said earlier, I cannot stress enough how important it is to warm up before going into your first working set. So here I start off with just a bar. I am just getting some blood going through my body and getting used to the mobility before I jump onto some weight. Here I jump onto my second warm up set. It is just 135 pounds, getting in a little bit of reps before I jump onto my first working set. Um, this is very important so that we prevent injuries, especially in the shoulder area when bench pressing. Excuse me for doing a slow-mo version of this clip, but I really want to emphasize here how important it is the way you lay down before you start bench pressing. Notice how I move my shoulders up as if I'm shrugging, move them back before coming back down, and then laying down. With this right posture, it your back will always stay contracted and you will prevent all shoulder injury when bench pressing. Here I move on to my first working set. The first two sets will be slightly heavy sets just to make sure that I maintain my strength when bench pressing. Here I hit 10 reps of 185 with a rep power of 8 out of 10 making sure that I still get those reps in even though I am kind of working on my strength in this first two sets. But as you'll see in the next clip, I move on to a, a slightly lower weight and I focus more on the reps instead of the strength. Then the next three sets are gonna be higher reps, focusing on that volume. Notice how important it is to tuck in your elbows when coming down and putting the bar right below your nipple so you can get the perfect form keeping your feet on the ground and controlling your breathing when, when coming down and coming back up Here I move on to my second compound movement, um, standing military press. I start off with just a bar to warm up and get the uh, shoulder mobility going. As I move on to my first working set, I wanted to emphasize the form of this standing military press. It's important to, as funny as it sounds, squeeze your glutes as you're holding the bar before coming up. And make sure you go all the way down below your chin when you come down. As you do this movement, make sure to keep your core tight at all times so you emphasize the contraction on your shoulders. and try not using any other body parts to help. As I did for the bench press, I started off with my first two sets as heavy sets but kept it at an 8 to 10 rep range. For my last three sets, I lowered the weight again and increased the rep range from 12 to 15 reps. Here I move on to my third compound set. It's incline dumbbell press and we're gonna work on the upper part of your chest here. Get the right contractions with the dumbbells. And as I did in the regular flat bench press, here I also contract my scapula and make sure that I lay down on the upper part of my back, keeping my feet on the ground at all times, core tight, and focusing on that chest contraction. For this last compound movement, I'm staying at a 12 to 15 rep range. Just because at the beginning, we emphasized a little on the strength and now for the remaining of the workouts, we're gonna emphasize everything on the volume.
as I hit more sets here, I wanted to talk to you guys about my knowledge on the gym. I know that I'm not a gym guru. I have only been lifting for two years consistently. But these exercises and these warm-ups and these body mobilities, these are the things that have been working for me so far. As I keep on doing this, I will be learning more and showing you guys new things that I learn as I go along. But if you guys want to try these workouts out, feel free to do so. Here I move on to my first ISO movement. We are hitting a superset here of two workouts. The first workout is going to be a tricep push down, as many reps as possible. Notice here how I slightly bend my knees, keep my elbows locked at all times, and just fully focus on the tricep contraction. It is also important to keep your head posture neutral, looking straight forward, not down, not up, or to the sides. Here I move on to the second exercise of the superset. We are doing some face pulls. This superset consists of five sets in total with as many reps as possible. AM or AM reps means as many reps. Moving on to the second ISO movement, I hit another super, super set of two workouts. The first workout is cable crossovers. Here I focus on moving my arms back enough to fully distress my chest and then I fully extend my arms to get that full chest contraction. Notice how I slightly bend my wrists when coming forward. Um, this is a slight wrist movement to make sure my pinkies touch together so that you can get that nice chest contraction. Continuing with the superset, here I jump on to lateral races with a total of five supersets. To finish off my workout, I know that abs are made in the kitchen, but I am on a surplus right now, meaning my body is growing. So I am also implementing two ab workouts a week, just so that my abs begin growing a little bit. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys have made it this far into the video, you guys are real ones. Thank you so much. up that workout thanks for watching guys make sure you like and subscribe to my channel see you next video